Okay, uh, let us continue with question number 58 here. Yeah? Question number 58, uh, it says a point P move. So point P move, that means P coordinates of P is unknown. Okay, it moves such that its distance from point Q, so there is a point Q here, is equal to its distance from the line x equals to negative 2 and find the equation of the locus of P. Okay, so the problem in this question is this, yeah? The problem that most students encounter is this. They know, uh, they know that the equation of the locus will have to use distance, yeah? We'll have to use distance because it says the distance from point P to Q, so you know that it is point P to Q, the distance, is equal to the distance between the point P and the line x equals to negative 2. So what is the distance of the point P to the line x equals to negative 2? That is a problem. And a lot of students, since they cannot imagine it, they will just put equals to negative 2. Or, or, or maybe they will put equals to 2. <laughs> okay? Just to uh, make life easier. Okay? But actually, in reality, it's not. You have to find out what is the distance between point P to the line x equals to negative 2. So in this case, you have to imagine. So let us draw and sketch it out. First of all, you must draw where is the line x equals to negative 2. So let's say this is x equals to negative 2 here. And the line is this straight line. Yeah? It's a vertical straight line that cuts through the coordinates x equals to negative 2. Okay? So this is the straight line and uh, q is here. Let's say q is here. It is 2, 0. And now let's have a look. Um, where should point p be? We, we don't know. We just know that p equals to q, the distance, is sim uh, equals to 2. So let's imagine, okay, imagine P is here. Uh, it is moving, so it can be somewhere else, so don't worry about it, yeah? So let's say point P is here. So can you see that I purposely draw it so that the distance from point P is a bit similar to q, and it is also distance to, point, uh, to the line x equals to negative 2. So can you see that this line, okay, let's, let's make it bold. This line and this line is same distance. I purposely draw it like that. So now, do you know how to find the distance between point P and the line now? This is line x equals to negative 2. Okay? Can you see that this the distance of this line is 1, 2, and whatever it is for the x coordinate of point P? Right? It's not 3. Yeah? It's not 3 because this is not 1. Yeah? This is not 1 here. Okay? But it's 1, 2, and x. Correct or not? So the distance would be 2 plus x. So it's equals to 2 plus x. Or the easier way to do is take x minus minus 2. Okay, but a lot of students cannot see this without drawing the diagram. So just sketch out the diagram and you can understand that the distance from the line PQ should equal to the distance of the point P to the line x equals to minus 2, which is 2 plus x. Okay, I hope this is clear, yeah? So the moment you have this, the moment you, you pass this issue, you pass this hurdle, you will be able to continue on using the uh, distance formula. That's PQ, right? equals to 2 plus x. So PQ is uh, using the y minus the y, that's y minus 0 square plus and x minus 2 square. So uh, by, by squaring on both sides of the equation, you will get uh, y square plus, that's just x square minus 4x plus 4, and that is equals to expand this now, 4 plus 4x plus x squared. Okay, 4 plus 4x plus x squared. Right, so now just shift everything to one side and you would have answered your question. Okay, so let's shift the x squared, bring over, there's no more x squared, cut off. So that leaves you with y squared, minus 4x plus 4x, so that becomes minus 8x, right? If you shift this over, it becomes a negative, and bring over the 4, there's no more, cut off the 4. That is equals to 0. And here we go. This is the equation of locus for, for, for point P if it is in this case. Y squared minus 8x equals to 0. Okay. And normally when you do the equation, you get x squared, y squared, x and y, right? So some students will say, wow, this looks too short. <laughs> Maybe I did something wrong. <laughs> you didn't. The equation of locus can come in different form. Yeah, can come in different form. Can have x squared, y squared, can have x, can have y, uh, uh, and you know, and, and not have x squared like in this case, right? So it doesn't matter. What is important is you understand the concept. Okay, now let's move on to question number 59. Question 59. Uh, a circle with the center P touches the y-axis and 
passes through the point M. Okay, find the equation of locus. So again, again, it is always better if you can sketch out, right? The center P. So um, circle with center P. So let's put P here and there is a circle, right? And it touches the Y axis. Okay, we don't know where it touched the Y axis, so I'm just going to draw the Y axis somewhere here. Oops, that's not too nice. Okay, that's it. Okay, imagine that it touches the y axis there. It's the easiest to draw. Okay, and I didn't say it touched the x axis, so don't don't put it, don't let it touch the x axis. And let's see what else. Passes through the point M four two. Mm, okay, maybe M is here. Yeah, maybe M is here. Doesn't matter. Let's say M is here, and it's four. Uh, well, that doesn't look too correct. And uh, how do I know that doesn't look too correct? Because four two shouldn't be so high up. Uh, maybe it's here. Okay, this is M four two. You know, 2 is, should be here, shouldn't be so high up. Okay, so I'm guessing M is there. Okay, and it says, touches the y-axis at point M, find the equation of locus of point P. Okay, all right. Can you see a relationship between P and M? The distance of PM, the distance of PM, again, you use distance, you know, in, remember, in order to find equation of locus, you have to find an equation, find a relationship. Either you use the distance, which is, which is most of the time the, the, the way to solve it, or you find a relationship like previously you did m1, m2 equals to negative 1. So in this case, if you can see pm, the distance of pm is the radius, right? Is there another way for you to find the radius or is equal to something else? You see, they, they tell you that the circumference of the circle or the circle touches the y-axis at one point. Lah, okay? This is the radius also, right? And there is a, 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 a reason why they give you this information because you can find the distance from P to whatever point it is because it touches the y-axis. So therefore, what is this distance? Coordinate P is x and y, right? So what is this length? Isn't this x? Uh, that means it doesn't matter what x is. La. x can be 4, x can be 3. Uh, so if x is 3, that means this distance is 3, isn't it? Because it is a vertic horizontal distance to the y core, uh, to the y axis. Okay, so there you have it. The radius pm should equal to p to this point. Yeah, so which is equals to x. And this is how you form your equation, the distance pm. So now, problem has been solved. pm is... The y minus the y, so it's y minus 2 square plus x minus the x, x minus 4 square. Alright, so that expand all the bracket carefully. 4y plus 4 plus x square minus 8x plus 16 equals to x square. Yeah? Do remember that you're squaring on both sides. So I'm going to shift the x square over straight away. Okay equals to 0. Alright, so now x square, x square, y square. So let's put together what you can put together and do what you can do. You Apparently, that's an x here. No, that's an x square and x square. Okay, there's no more x square. Sorry, cut off the x square. <laughs> okay, that leaves you with y square minus 8x. That's an 8x. Minus 4y. Remember to put the x and the y first, yeah? Minus 8x minus 4y. And that leaves you with 16 and 4, that's 20, plus 20 equals to 0. So the equation of the locus of point P is y squared minus 8x minus 4y plus 20 equals to 0. And we are done. So I hope you're able to see the similarity between this question, 59, and the previous question, 58. Yeah, uh, both of them, you have to figure out yourself the other distance, the distance between point P, the locus, and against the other against a line or in this case it's also the distance between point p and another line which is actually the y axis yeah so the best way in order for you to see this clearly is to sketch out the diagram you may not know exactly where it is just put a point uh, where it makes sense all right and when you see the diagram you should be able to um, stimulate your brain to think in the correct path <laughs> all right so uh, that's question uh, 59 now um, 60 and 61 are all past year SPM questions and uh, they are a little bit challenging yeah so um, we'll do that in the next two videos see you then this is Miss Ng here